Now let's take a look at the cost volume profit analysis and we're going to use an Excel spreadsheet that has uh, pre-formatted formulas in it and it will become an interactive model, one that you can use to solve problems yourself. Let's take a look at how the model works. The model is based on the contribution income statement model uh, or the format and so we have um, our revenue and sales with variable expenses being subtracted from them to get you a contribution margin and then if we further subtract fixed expenses that would be operating income. Uh, you've seen this format before uh, in terms of the description in the total column uh, but what we've done is expanded this model to show the inner workings of uh, the unit price times the volume or or production levels. <clears throat> so the way this model works is um, let's take it row by row. So if we look at revenue and sales, we're looking at the sales price per unit. Sales price per unit is represented by the A here. Uh, we multiply that times the volume of the uh, sales or the number of units that were sold which is B here. So A times B equals C and C is the total revenue or sales uh, for that row. Now we look at uh, variable expenses in the same light. The, what is the variable expense per unit uh, is represented by D uh, times this, the same number of units that were sold uh, so what's the variable expenses of those units that were sold? Uh, multiplying those we get E which is your total variable expenses. When we subtract all three of these uh, columns, uh, in the first column we would get if we take the, the sales price per unit minus the variable expense per unit we will get the con contribution margin per unit. That's a very important number that you'll see a little bit later is used in some other calculations uh, for further analyses. But the contribution margin per unit times the number of units that were sold would give us the entire uh, contribution margin. Now subtracting from the contribution margin itself are the fixed expenses. And the fixed expenses um, will uh, subtracting the fixed expenses will then generate the operating income line. Uh, so this is the way the basic model works and we're, on the next page we'll show you how the formulas are built in and how we can take a simple exercise uh, to demonstrate how it actually works. Here we have a simple example. A, a company sells its single product at a price of $15 per unit. That's $15 per unit. So that sales price per unit is going to go into the model right here. Sales price per unit. In its first month of operations it sells 8,000 units. Okay, we know that at 8,000 8, units the 8,000 will go into the volume of sales and revenue. And each product has a variable cost of $9 per unit. So the variable expense number of 9 would go right here fixed expenses are forty thousand dollars per month so the forty thousand dollars of fixed expenses will go on the fixed expense line those are the only real numbers that are needed in order for the model to work you'll see here the highlighted cells and once you input the numbers uh, for those cells for example fifteen dollars per unit of a sales price minus the nine dollars gives us a six dollar contribution margin per unit of course the sales volume will always be the same here because we're multiplying variable expenses they will vary based on the number of uh, units sold and likewise uh, the contribution margin uh, will make the same six dollar margin on every unit that is sold so six times eight thousand gives us a forty eight thousand dollar contribution margin now we've added a column here for ratios as well so once we determine the amount of the contribution margin ratio, the formulas built in will actually calculate a contribution margin ratio of 40%. So 40% of your $120,000 of sales revenue is $48,000. And likewise with the fixed expenses of 40000 
on uh, sales of 120,000, we get operating income of 8,000. Uh, it's a pretty simple uh, calculation once you put it in. Now let's let's use some variations here. Let's say that uh, we increase the sales price per unit from 15 to 20. Now remember, we have an $8,000 operating income here uh, with $15. Let's see what happens when we increase it to $20. So by increasing the sales price by five dollars, we get sales now of one hundred and sixty thousand. Fixed expenses don't change; they're 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 going to be the same. And so now we generate forty thousand more dollars, or forty-eight thousand uh, dollars, in terms of uh, operating income. Once we get past the break-even of which would be forty thousand in this case, every dollar above that forty thousand goes right to the bottom line. Notice also that by increasing the sales price by $5, but keeping the variable expenses at 9, increased our contribution margin ratio from the original 40% to 55%. This analysis, although it appears very simple, is very powerful in terms of being able to analyze the operations of an organization and being able to determine what the contribution margin ratio is. What do we need to do to increase that contribution margin ratio? We can either decrease variable expenses or we can increase uh, sales revenue. We can do it by uh, the volume through the volume or we can do it by um, improving uh, our cost per unit or by improving the uh, sales price per unit. Hope this is helpful in understanding the relationships of cost, volume, and profit.